plaintiff, Brian Solpizio, is a recording engineer, and he claims he never should have gotten involved with the defendant because the defendant is a smoker and a drinker who also uses cocaine. Brian is suing the defendant for unpaid wages and slander. Defendant William Satek says Brian is an unsavory character who associates with people who own an S&M dungeon and uses tasers in a sexual manner. William insists he only owes Brian for a portion of his lawsuit. Start with you. Uh, Honestly, Judge, if I had thought about it, I never would have got involved with this guy. He's, uh, he's a drinker, he smokes. Half the time he's partying out of a bag, if you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> but I never thought he would screw no, me mean, out of money. He digs his nose? <laughs> what, do you mean, what do you mean by that? Something like that, Your Honor. He snorts coke, just say it if that's what you're alleging. That's correct, that's my uh, allegation. Smokes, snorts coke and drinks excessively. That's true. All of those things you are do? true. Sorry? What do you do? Uh, I don't do anything excessively. <laughs> you say you only snort a little, you only smoke a little, and you only drink a little. Oh, go ahead. What else you want me to know, sir? How long you all uh, uh, been friends or your association? Well, these are, we, we met on the scene. We're both musicians. I record musicians. When you know, we did you meet? entered into agreement. We met at shows. When these things. did you first meet? Uh, 2008, 2009, right. I think. We enter into a verbal agreement. You know, uh, I'm struggling to get by out there. Uh, you know, I got, my glasses are broken. I don't know what to do about that. There's my beautiful dog, Betty. Yeah, you stop I got spending her to your feed. money on that other stuff and buy you some glasses. <laughs> And stop getting sloppy drunk and you won't fall down and break them. <laughs> How did you break your glasses? He broke them. Oh, we'll get to no, that. No, I'm man. sorry. That's, that's not true. That's perjury. I'm sorry. Strike it from the record. Already. <laughs> Already. This is your dog. You showed me this to show the condition of your glasses earlier. Or why are you showing me this? Uh, the, the dog is a responsibility of mine. You know, I have many responsibilities to meet. I can only do that if my clients pay me in a timely gotcha. manner. Gotcha. All right. And you all always gotten along since 08 up until this issue? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we were great okay. friends. Good. Give me your background. Okay. The plaintiff is... Um, the definition of an unsavory character. I'm personally shocked that he's even decided to wear sleeves today. <clears throat> what does that mean? Uh, sleeveless shirts okay. all the time, this guy. All right, go ahead. And uh, <clears throat> It's not unsavory, that's he's showing off his muscles. Oh, thank you, Your Honor. Show Your me 12 pack. <laughs> go ahead. Well, I mean, he's gonna go home today to more unsavory characters to a uh, place, uh, his apartment complex, they run a fully operational S&M dungeon. What? Where they- Objection, objection. Where they hog tie men. No. Cover them in fruity pebbles and cake mix. <laughs> cattle prods, tasers, whips, chains. Tasers? The guy's a creep. Tasers. You have people that can- No, no, I don't. No, I've no, never no. seen a taser in my life. They are tased? And it turns them on? No, he just associates with the people that run the place. That's what I'm oh. saying. Yeah, yeah. There's such a thing, I guess that's what I'm asking. Associate There's with. such a thing of being turned on by being tased. <laughs> You've heard of that? Ask him. Let's move on. All right. Some of us now go let's to therapy. Get to, let's get to the wages you're suing for. Okay. Uh, we entered into this agreement. Our recording process began in August of 2011. During that time, I spent 66 hours at $25 an hour, a great rate, I might add. Very affordable for anyone, even people Outrageous. like this man. Just like taping your glasses up with electrical tape. Yeah, well. <laughs> Go ahead. Wouldn't have to. If you didn't break them. <laughs> Go ahead. 66 uh, hours of service you during, provided to him. During that time, we established a relationship, good friendship. He's paying me back. He pays up to $693 is the amount I have. Then also- What was the amount charged? $1,650, sir. Uh, that was the charge. Yes. And how much was paid? He paid $693. All right. And I allowed him to he and his band members through other projects I had going on to work off $211 
uh, performing music on other projects, okay. which leaves us with oh. a total of $746 All right. that he owes me. And the defamation? Uh, the defamation. How much do you want for that first? $500 is defamation. <laughs> $500 for defamation. How so? Uh, after the record is done, he gives an interview here in the Chicago Reader. This is available mm -hmm. nationally. Anyone can look at it. He says, I still owe the guy who recorded it. Uh, I still owe him some money. Now, you say that's defamation? Well, this is both an admission that he owes me money and also We're anyone looking at this. We're talking about defamation right now. Every, every musician on the scene in Chicago will look at that and say, oh, yeah, let's, let's go to this guy, Sulpizio. You him don't even have to pay him. Him owing you money? Yeah. He admits to owing you money and that's going to hurt you? Yeah, it makes, it, it makes it hard to insist that people pay me let's on a Read the whole so, part. Let's, let's, let's move, part on. Where let's move on. Let's move on. Go ahead, sir. What do you say to this? You I all came think, here with uh, damaged brain cells. Go ahead. I don't think he understands what defamation he means. He certainly doesn't. Let's move past that. Defamation okay. isn't you saying you owe somebody money. Right. That doesn't hurt him. Go right. ahead. It hurts you. I've paid him a bunch of money for... A bunch of money is what you've paid. Right. Right. For the recording up and from April 2011 to January 2012. Up thousands of dollars for this recording. And I do owe him no more than a day's work of $25 an hour, that's $200. That's my charge right now from him. Are you backing that up? What do you got? What, you got anything written down? He was very specific. You are guessing. You're giving approximates. Okay. He said, I paid him thousands. He was very specific. $746 is your judgment. You were very specific. He guessed and pulled numbers out of the air. And your uh, defamation is dismissed. Him admitting that he owes you money does not hurt your reputation. Have a good day. Thank you for the claim. This guy is a... And I know you can't tell it through your television screen, but he smells like